Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. That's not playing. You're muted, Lisa. One moment. Lisa is muted in Hanson Theater. So let's start at the beginning with your welcome, Lisa. Okay, welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Minnesota State University Moorhead's College of Science, Health, and the Environment Commencement Ceremony. I am Dr. Elizabeth Narat, Dean of the College of Science, Health, and the Environment, and I will be presiding over the ceremony today. It gives me great pleasure to welcome our graduates, faculty, staff, family, and friends, and to present the graduates from Science, Health, and the Environment to the president of Minnesota State University Moorhead, Dr. Ann Blackhurst. Welcome and congratulations to our graduates and the friends and family members who have helped today's graduates achieve their goals. Today's ceremony is truly a celebration. It is a celebration of you, our newest graduates, and both the talent and the hard work your degrees represent. It is a celebration of your friends and family and all those who have supported you along the way. It is a celebration of our extraordinary faculty and staff and the guidance and mentoring they have provided you. Today, we also celebrate the transformative power of higher education. As you reflect on your time at MSUM graduates and think back to the day you first joined the Dragon family, I think it will be obvious that your MSUM education has provided much more than knowledge and skills and preparation for your careers. As you receive your diploma and join the community of MSUM alumni, you are prepared to use your knowledge and skills to transform our world. Congratulations to you, our graduating class of 2021. It is an honor to celebrate with you today. We cannot wait to see what you'll accomplish next. Our mission at MSUM is carried out by a team of dedicated faculty and staff. Joining us today are representatives of our faculty. These professors have played an important role in our graduate success. Graduates and members of the audience, please join me in recognizing our outstanding faculty. Thank you, President Blackhurst. Now, I am honored to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Justin Bolt. Justin received his Bachelor of Science in Health Services Administration with emphasis in long-term care administration from MSUM in 2019. He currently serves as the Executive Director of the Clarkfield Care Center, where he, where he is in charge of resident care management for the 36th licensed bed nursing home. As executive director, Justin oversees personnel management of the 75 employees and 30 ambulance department volunteers, monitors and evaluates resident safety, satisfaction and enrichment programs, marketing and public relations, and is responsible for a three and a half million dollar annual budget. During his time at MSUM, Justin was a community outreach board member for the healthcare leadership organization, he also conducted research that he presented at local and regional conferences, including our own student academic conference and the National Council on Undergraduate Research Meeting. Justin has certifications in first aid, CPR, therapeutic response, and as a direct service professional. Recently, Justin was selected for inclusion in Trademarks Who's Who Honors Edition for demonstrating dedication, leadership, and professional excellence. The selection committee noted that Justin has made his mark on his profession as an expert and will become part of history as one of the top professionals in his field. Please welcome Justin Bolt. Thank you for that nice introduction, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Nerwat. Hello, Minnesota State University, Moorhead faculty, students, family, and friends. I'm honored to be speaking to you all on your special day. Congratulations, students. 
My name is Justin Bolt, and I'd like to encourage all of you here today to say thank you to everyone that helped you get to this point in your lives, whether it was your mom or your dad, uncle, cousin, friend, teacher, or mentor. You have all worked hard for this achievement, uh, but take some time to acknowledge those that were part of your journey. I would like to acknowledge a few people and MSUM for helping me get to where I am today. I'd like to thank MSUM for having such a great healthcare administration program, which gave me the opportunity to be an administrator so that I could make a positive impact on my staff and the residents I serve. Secondly, I want to thank Dr. Jitendra Singh for helping me find an internship that led me to where I am, for mentoring me on my research projects that I got to present at the National Conference of Undergrad Research in Edmond, Oklahoma, for continuing to mentor me in my professional career to this day. Jitendra, thank you. I would like to thank Nathan Johnson, CEO of Pioneer Care for mentoring me in the medical field and helping me bridge the gap between education and application. Lastly, I want to thank Chris Knoll, CEO of Minnewaska Community Health Services for mentoring me and supporting me in long-term care. The three people, these three people taught me a lot of life lessons at MSUM and during my career. I wanna share two of the life-changing lessons I learned at MSUM that attributed to my success. First, find answers. We learn more by looking for answers to a question and not finding it than we do from learning the answer itself, Lloyd Alexander. When I first came to college, I was a know-it-all and I surrounded myself with a lot of intellectual individuals that I could share conversations with about various topics. I often made inaccurate theories on how I believe things were, you know, based on observations or patterns I noticed over time and I explained this information to my friends very confidently. My friends would often ask me, Justin, is that true or is that a Justin fact? I'd always lay out my case for why I thought it was right, and my friends would always find scholastic books and research studies to find the correct answer. Let's just say the Justin facts had a low success rate of being accurate initially. But as Zig Ziglar once said, if you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you're determined to learn, no one can stop you. I grew a lot with my time at MSUM and improved my life in so many ways, and it taught me what it, it really means to have grit, humility, and heart. MSUM taught me not just how to memorize answers that you might forget right after a test, but to truly understand the information. So years later on, you may have forgotten little details, but you understand the underlying concepts. I learned how to research information and discern what was fact, supported by reasoning, and what was misinformation. The second lesson I'd like to talk about, promote others more than you promote yourself. We rise by lifting others, Robert Ingersoll. We can, show with, we can show with our words and our actions that people in our lives are important. Now everybody wants to feel important. Everybody wants other people to look at them and say, wow, that's an important person. Even if you act like you don't want that, we all kind of want to be special. And I don't know if anyone here has ever heard of crab mentality coined by Ninochka Raska, but if you take a bucket and put a crab into that bucket, and the bucket is just big enough for the crab to reach up the lid and pull himself out, it will escape. But if one additional crab is added to the bucket, as soon as that crab tries to reach up and get out of the bucket, the other one grabs it and pulls it down. And then they're all stuck in the bucket. I'd imagine, you know, they're thinking, no way. If I'm not getting out of this bucket, you're not getting out of this bucket. As people, we can fall into similar patterns. Sometimes we find ourselves in a position we're not doing well and we can't stand it when other people do well. But with that mentality, we're all stuck in the bucket. Les Brown said, help others achieve their dreams and you'll achieve yours. I've got this friend, Dr. Jeremy Olson, and he's the most respected person that I know. He's smart, talented, great supporter, everybody just loves him. But I've never heard him promote himself by saying how great he is. You know, more often than not, uh, people, he tells people, you know, he's not that great. Um, he does, however, talk about how amazing other people are, both to their faces and to other people. He knows everybody's name, and he's always uh, saying something encouraging to them. And he's by far the most respected person I know, not because of the cool things he can do, but because of how cool or because of how kind he is to other people. 
I know people have that opposite focus where they are more focusing on bringing others down or gossiping about others. Personally, I've fallen in this category in my life, not proud of it, uh, but the truth is you end up limiting your own potential. The surest way to promote yourself is to help others get ahead, Daryl Brown. If you promote others more than yourself, you will start to notice that people in your life will start to promote you. So if you wanna be that important person, then don't tell people how great you are, but tell people how great they are. Now I challenge the rest of you students to grow as I did and lose the Justin facts and find your own answers. I challenge you to live your life like Jeremy did and promote the people around you. A rising tide lifts all boats. These lessons have been pillars of my success and it can be for you as well. Thank you class of 2021 and welcome to the MSU alumni family. Thank you, Justin. And now I'm thrilled to introduce our honored graduates. Minnesota State University Moorhead recognizing out, recognizes outstanding academic achievement by bestowing cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude honors on our graduates. The following slide lists our MSUM graduates who have been bestowed this honor. Minnesota State University Moorhead invites qualifying students to participate in our honors program. The following slide lists our MSUM graduates who have completed this rigorous program. Now in demonstration of our core values of grit, humility, and heart, the following slide represents members of today's graduating class who are first in their families to graduate from college. Congratulations. And thank you for joining me in recognizing these achievements. Graduates will be announced today by faculty representing their academic departments. A slide of each graduate will be displayed as well as a live shot of the graduate. All degrees granted today will be conferred by President Blackhurst and myself. President Blackhurst, it is my privilege to present the candidates for degrees in the College of Science, Health and the Environment. On behalf of the faculty of the college, I certify that these candidates have met all college, departmental, and undergraduate requirements for the degrees to be conferred. As president of Minnesota State University Moorhead, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the board of trustees for the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, I confer upon you the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Science in Nursing, as appropriate, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Okay, now the fun part. The academic department chair will read each student's name and honors designation if applicable, and a slide of each graduate will appear on the screen Graduates, once your name is called, you'll be highlighted in a live shot. Make sure you thank mom and dad and maybe call out your favorite professor too. You first? Yeah. yeah. Where's George? Stop Glory, Glory Ames, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology and Sustainability. Congratulations, Glory. <laughs> This is for George. <laughs> Yay! You did it. Rachel Bugman, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Cum Laude. Hi. Congratulations, Rachel. <laughs> Emma Fraundienst, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Cum Laude. Congratulations, Emma. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Uncle Chris, Grandma, Grandpa. Emma Graves, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Cum Laude. Congratulations, Emma. Hi.
Lindsay Tennyson, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. Congratulations, Lindsay. Hi, thanks mom, thanks dad, thanks professors. Yes, yes. Fatih Abdullahi, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences. Congratulations, Fatih. Thank you. Thank you Thank to my you. mom. <laughs> Thank you to my mom, Asli, and my dad, Sadok, for encouraging me. Thank you. Nico Arias, Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, cum laude. Congratulations, Nico. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, everybody, for helping me. And shout out to my mom and my brother, and also my cousin who's watching. Yay. Esther Bagwula, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences. Congratulations, Esther. Seth Chapek, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences, magna cum laude. Congratulations. Woo! Seth. Woo! <laughs> Alexis Corey. Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Alexis. I'd like to thank my parents and my professors to help me get to this point. Yay, congratulations! <laughs> Connor Edval, Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, cum laude. Congratulations, Connor. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks my professors and my parents. Elizabeth Erber, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Liz. Thank you. <laughs> Carly Hansen, <laughs> Bachelor of Science in University Studies. Congratulations, Carly. <laughs> uh, thank you to my sorority. I love you, Gamma Phi. Um, also, I love all my professors. Thank you so much for getting me where I am today. I appreciate you so much. Also, thank you, Dad. Love you. <laughs> um, Lauren Kiewit, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you to all my professors. Should have got a cap and gown from the cell. Okay. <laughs> Emily Larson, Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Jacob Minnick, BA, Bachelor of Arts in Biology. Congratulations. I just want to thank my mom, my dad, my most supportive girlfriend, Leah, and also a special shout out to my advisor, Patricia Wisenden. Yasmin Mohammed, 
Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Yasmin. Daniel Paulson, Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, cum laude. Congratulations, Daniel. Thanks, mom and dad. Woo. Shannon Poppin, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Shannon. Nicole Steppen, Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, cum laude. Congratulations, Nicole. Thank you. Thanks to Brian and B. Thank you to my parents for supporting me. Also, hi, Tori. Hi, Greta. Hi, Ellie, Eddie. Thank you. <laughs> Victoria Clare, Yannis Rich, Bachelor of Science in Health and Medical Sciences and a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. Congratulations, Claire. Hola, Emmy. Hola, Clau. Dad, Susan, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you to all my professors and MSUM. It has been an honor. So thank you. There she is. Okay. Wait. Got to turn the mute. Caitlin Hope Gunnifson, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry Education. Congratulations, Caitlin. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you uh, to all my family that was so supportive, especially my fiance and all my professors. Thank you, guys. Morgan Lynn Benson, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Morgan. Thank you. <laughs> Hobet Diaz Martinez, Bachelor of Science in Health Education, Bachelor of Science in Physical Education Teaching. Congratulations, Hobbit. Hey, everyone. Woo! I just want to thank my professors, my coaches, and all my family. Can't wait to be a future educator. <laughs> Maren Clarine Erman Trout, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Maren. Thank you to everyone who has supported me along the way. Yeah. <laughs> Tara Dawn Gaber, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Congrats, Tara. Uh, I want to thank my family for being super supportive and my professors helping me along the way through this. And now my brothers can stop saying I've been in college forever because I've graduated. <laughs> Maisie Darlene Gilbert, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Maisie. Thank you. I want to thank my parents, my fiance, um, Don. Wendy Short, and James Gamer. Kaylee Brianne Ginocchio, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Congratulations, Kaylee. Thank you. Thank you to my family, friends, and professors for encouraging me and getting me to where I am today. Isabella Kate Hansen, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, cum laude. Congratulations, Bella. Emily Holton, 
Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Congratulations, Emily. Thanks to all the family and friends and professors that supported me up until this spot. Maya Jo Maninga, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Congratulations, Maya. Ashley McCants, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Yay, thank you. Once a dragon, always Ashley. a dragon. Thank you to my friends and family that helped me through my journey at MSU App. Anna Grace Munson, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, cum laude. Congratulations, Anna. Tomomi Nishihara, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Tomomi. Yeah, Tomomi. Thanks to everyone who support me. <laughs> Hannah Nicole Perry, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science and Athletic Training. Congratulations, Hannah. Thank you, Jay, Don, all my preceptors and my amazing friends and family. Couldn't have done it without you. Anthony Santos, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Congratulations, Anthony. I would just like to thank my friends and family and especially my professors, uh, Dr. Gamar, Don, Wendy, and Megan Johnson. Thank you. Kayla Sorensen, Bachelor of Science in Health Education and Physical Education Teaching, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Kayla. Thank you to all my family, friends, and my professors. Woo! Hannah Spielman, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Congratulations, Hannah. Ooh. Hey, guys, I just want to say thank you to all my professors and my family. <laughs> Kelly Sullivan, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you to my mom and dad, and thank you to Grandma Lou, Grandma Kathy, and Grandpa Dell. Yay! Thank you, Kelly! <laughs> <laughs> Alexis Sagelski, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Alexis. Thank you, guys. I'm so excited. Um, special thank you to Dr. Edwards um, as my advisor, research mentor. Um, was an incredible experience. Love MSUM. Alexis Harder. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Uh, thank you. I just want to say thank you to my parents and to my professors. Logan Ann Hobbs, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Magna cum laude. Congratulations, Logan. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to my family and my friends and my professors for all your support. Yay! <laughs> Emily Lynn Hughes, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Emily. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> Yeah! 
Anna Joyce, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Anna. Thank you. Congrat uh, I want to thank my parents and my grandparents and all of my professors in the philosophy and psychology departments. <laughs> Zoe Kraft, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Zoe. Thank you. Griffin Macy, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Congratulations, Griffin. Garrett Scheel, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Congratulations, Garrett. Aaliyah Celeste Spikers, Bachelor of Social Work in Social Work and Psychology, summa cum laude. Thank you, everybody. Uh, big, uh, big thanks to my parents, my amazing fiance, Andrew, um, all of my professors, and of course, my puppy, Bentley. Allison Young, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Congratulations, Allison. Thank you. Martha Ann Engelhart, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Martha. <laughs> Mariah Briard, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Mariah. No, don't try. Wendy Dadano, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Wendy. Have Courtney follow it because I can't. Yeah. This is embarrassing. I... Wendy Henning, Bachelors of Science in Health Services Administration, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you to my family for putting up with the things I had to miss and to my great professors and Jackson, I beat you by one day. Jaden Jackson, Bachelors of Science in Health Services Administration, summa oh, cum laude. Congratulations, Jaden. Yay! Thanks to my family, my professor and to my past and family that's watching. Thank you, guys. Kelly Lewisburg, Bachelor of Science and Nursing. Congratulations, Kelly. Family and friends, and for my professors and everyone else who's helped me on the way. Nicole Ann Miller, Bachelors of Science and Health Services Administration, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Nicole. 
Lonnie Ruiz, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Lonnie. <laughs> Hello, uh, thank you to all my professors. Thank you to my family, to my parents, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my husband. Thank Good you. Job. Good job. That sounded good. Jordan Olson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Jordan. <laughs> Thank you. Dolvin Umbaba, congratulations, Dolvin. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, mom and dad. Thank you, Chris. And you too. <laughs> oh, hey, Kaylee Sarah Dawn Sharp, Bachelor's of Science in Health Services Administration. Congratulations, Kaylee. I'd just like to give a big thank you to my parents, friends, family, and my wonderful boyfriend. Without their support, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Woo! <laughs> Hiro Katsu Suzuki, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Physics, cum laude. Yeah. Way to reach your electric potential energy hero. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'd like Let's to go. thank all my professors and my mom and dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hirokatsu. Hirokatsu. Let's go. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations to the graduates. My name was not called. I was forgotten. My name is Atong Andrew. I'm with the College of Science and Health Department. Thank you. Congratulations. Apologies for missing you. Congratulations. I have the pleasure of introducing our student commencement speaker now. Nico Arias is a graduating senior who studied ecology and evolutionary biology with minors in sustainability and public health. He spent his time at MSUM leading fellow dragons as president of Student Senate. And prior to that, president of the Sustainable Students Association, chair of the Student Senate Sustainability Committee, as well as student senator. Nico is a transfer student from Green Bay, Wisconsin and a proud Panamanian. Welcome, Nico. Thank you, Dr. Narwat. Howdy folks, and congratulations, fellow dragons. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you all and say that we did it. We graduated and we finished. Not during the start of a pandemic, but after a full year of one. And I know I'm not the only person who said it, and I'm sure we're all tired of hearing it, so I'll move on. I invite you all to try something instead, something that took me years to figure out and even more to implement. I still haven't mastered the skill but I promise you the results speak for themselves. I'm asking you to do what I did, to take a chance on yourself, to bet on your ability, your talent, and your dedication, to bet on your dragon values instilled in you through our time here. Use the grit to push through the hard times, the humility and heart to fuel your fire to transform your community. I won't lie to you, it's not easy to do this, to bet on yourself. I'm gonna tell you a story of how I came to this idea, this concept. Let me tell you about some key moments when I bet on myself and when I didn't. You see, I never thought I would be speaking at any commencement ceremony, let alone mine, much less be a student body president. I never thought I would have accomplished all that I have in the short time that I accomplished it, but I did. I did because people, 
took a chance on me. I took a chance on me. After I graduated high school, I didn't think I was going to be able to attend a university. I graduated with a mediocre GPA and a 17 on the ACT. I didn't dare apply to a university for my own fear of being rejected. I didn't take a chance on myself. But it was my mother who told me to start at a community college. So I applied. I spent the first semester wallowing, thinking I was a failure for attending a community college. I kept my head down, but I put in the work. And that was my first mistake. I didn't think I belonged, that I could do it. I thought I had learned my limits after high school, but instead, by attending community college, I learned how to learn. I received A's on every test I took that semester and was shocked. It was that moment I learned that I could, if only I tried. I had a refreshed attitude. I forged ahead and received a 4.0 my first semester. I went on realizing the power that I had. I spent so much time telling myself my limits, telling myself I can't. I had never been more wrong. We are all here. We are all graduated. We need to stop telling ourselves our limits. Stop saying you can't. This degree is proof that we can. Bet on yourself. Bet on your transformation here at MSUM. Speaking of MSUM, let's get back to the story. It was spring of 2018, and I was looking for a place to attend a university, something just two years prior I didn't think was an option. I toured MSUM during a blizzard, and during my tour, I met my advisor. Allison explained the life science ed degree I was interested in at the time, explained the opportunities available to me here. Undergraduate research, the student academic conference, I had to find out what these were all about. And I had thought to myself, I have to come here. No other school was willing to offer such cool opportunities. No other school seemed willing to take a chance on me. MSUM presented a new challenge, a place for me to transform into the person you are seeing right now. My brother who came along on the tour told me in the car ride home that I could do it, and that I should do it, and I'd be stupid not to. We chatted about the different degree options available here and what I wanted to do. And obviously, I chose MSUM. I'm graduating, aren't I? Um, I chose MSUM because it offered innovative degree options like sustainability. So I took a chance on MSUM. We all did when we came here. And I hope you, like me, reflect back and realize how lucky we are to call this place ours. To call the people in the Zoom room, the faculty and staff who helped us along the way, our Dragon family. Before I get carried away in one of my tangents, let's get back to the story. I had chosen MSUM. I picked out my residence hall, my room, and I had moved away from home for the very first time. What was I gonna do? I didn't have a plan. When I came here, I didn't even know what student government was, nor did I care for it. I went to Welcome Week events, I found some organizations, I got involved. Before I knew it, I was done with my first semester here. And the next semester, I was bombarded by opportunities. I got to present a few posters at the student academic conference. I'm sure many of us have fond memories of late nights stressing over the slightest details on our poster or stressing because we have absolutely no idea what to put on our poster. The first student academic conference, I felt transformed. I had the opportunities and I took them. I never thought I would have done some research and presented it. I never thought that other people would find that research in interesting. But this university took a chance on me and it was worth it every step of the way. To bet on yourself is to take opportunities. Take opportunities you never thought you should take. Like I said at the beginning, I never thought I would be student body president. I never thought I would write and pass and sign a campus-wide sustainable action commitment. That commitment uh, that committed the campus to carbon neutrality. There are so many things we accomplished during our time at MSUM. Don't undervalue yourself. Don't undervalue your experience. I bet on myself when I ran for student body president. I accomplished all that, all that I accomplished in the past year because I bet on myself. I bet on myself when I said yes to running a city council campaign. I bet on myself when I gave the student voice to so many issues during this pandemic. I bet on all of you this year to stay, stay, to stay safe, to keep your classmates safe and healthy. This university bet on you when they accepted you and you gave all of those opportunities and gave you all of those opportunities. If you take anything from this speech, it's that you should bet on yourself. Thanks again, fellow dragons. Good luck and congratulations.
Thank you, Nico. Dr. Lisa Karsh, Dean of Graduate and Extended Learning, will present the candidates for graduate degrees. Dr. Karsh. President Blackhurst, it is my privilege to present the candidates for graduate degrees. On behalf of the graduate faculty, I certify that these candidates have met all graduate, college, and departmental requirements for the degrees to be conferred. As president of Minnesota State University Moorhead, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees for the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, in recognition of your accomplishments in advanced study, I confer upon you the Master of Healthcare Administration, Master of Science, or Specialist, as appropriate, with all the rights and privileges attached thereto. Okay, the academic department chairs will read each student's name and honors designation if applicable as the slide of each graduate appears on the screen. Graduates, once your name is called, you'll be highlighted in a live shot. I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to say something now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you so much um, for, for all the support that I received from the uh, faculty and staff at MSU. I'm, I'm so thankful for, for everyone that I've met there and um, that supported me. family and I love you all and I'm very blessed um, to have all of you. Um, so thank you. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Matthews, could you read Rainy's slide please? Yeah. 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 Okay, Navy, you're on TV, Navy. Rainy Amber Ellery, Masters of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Rainy. <laughs> Nikki Reynolds Berry, Master of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Nikki. Yay! Thank you. Uh, thank you to my husband, Dave, and all three of my kids for putting up with me. Casey, we did it! Amy Guimond. Master of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Amy. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to my husband, Brad, my daughter, Charlie, and of course, mom and dad for all your support to this program. Delaney L. Kennedy, Masters of Healthcare Administration. Congratulations, Delaney. Thank you. Shout out. Here's to Finn and I. Six years at MSUM. We're done. Woo! Casey Langley, Master of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Casey. Thank you so much. Congratulations, fellow graduates. I'm very honored to be a part of this group. Um, I have to thank our amazing faculty, professors, and again, my family and my children that I couldn't have done this without, um, and our support from, from even my employment faculty. Thank you to everyone. Congratulations. Alyssa Janie Novak, Master of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Alyssa. Thanks, mom and dad, and all of my nursing professors for answering all the questions I've had over the years. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Stella Wachuku, Master of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Stella. Thank you. I want to say thanks to my husband, um, my kids, five kids, um, the faculty and staff, and um, my colleagues for all their support. So thanks, everyone, my friends and my family as well. So. <laughs>Yeah. <laughs> 